Hey everybody, this is Ion Stuff, and today I want to show you how to build an inexpensive, high current, variable power supply. And all you need is at least three components. The first one is what you see here. This is a buck converter. It's a DC to DC buck converter. And what a buck converter does is it takes an input voltage and it outputs a lower voltage, a step down volt voltage. And this particular one uses a potentiometer in which you can select a lower voltage from what you put in and it'll give you that output. On the left, the red wires, that's the input. On the right, that's the output. And the three wires on the left leading to this potentiometer. Now this buck converter is much more efficient than a regulator. It's a switch mode power supply circuit. It's very efficient and it runs a lot cooler than a regulator. Now this uh, buck converter is made by Drock and it's um, rated at 8 amps at about 100 watts. The maximum uh, output is uh, 12 amps. The input uh, range is 5 to 40 volts DC. The output range is 1.2 volts to 36 volts. If you can find a power supply that has maybe 20 volts to 30 volts, so that's the key. If you can find a power supply uh, that can give you lots of current and will give you 20, 30 volts, you can vary that voltage all the way down to 1.2 volts and you'll get a fairly high current on the output. So the first thing that you need is the buck converter. The second thing you need is a multi-turn potentiometer and you want the value of this potentiometer to be the same as the trim pot that I removed. You can use a standard potentiometer but you will have issues trying to vary the voltage to a specific voltage. Now you can use what they call a boost converter as well uh, but what I have is a buck converter. Now the third item you need, as I mentioned before, is a power supply. And one thing that you can use that's a very handy is a laptop power supply. These laptop power supplies uh, will give you 18, 19, uh, maybe 20 volts or a little bit more. And they give you um, some good current output as well. This uh, Dell laptop power supply gives you you can read it there. Uh, let's see, 19.5 volts, uh, 4.62 amps. And uh, this gateway power supply uh, has an output of uh, 19 volts, uh, 2.64 amps. They'll both work. This Dell one here will give you um, close to 5 amps. Since this is inexpensive, you can find something that you already have in your parts bin. If you don't have this, you can actually use any power supply. Even a 12 volt power supply will work. But you'll get uh, only a range from 1.2 to 12 volts. One good option is one of these power supplies here that you might have seen. Uh, you can get these online. This one is a 24 volt, 30 amp power supply. So it'll give you some uh, a good voltage range very high current and uh, this one I believe was like twenty dollars on Amazon. Now the power supply that I selected is this power brick that I found uh, in my parts bin but it is rated at 18.5 volts at 6.5 amps so it'll give me some good output. Yet it's kind of optional but uh, I would probably recommend it is this digital LED volt slash amp meter and you can um, mount this on your box or wherever you want to put your power supply. Now this LED meter um, is also made by Drock. It's uh, rated at 10 amps, 0 to 100 volt DC. So I believe it'll be perfect for this project since the buck converter is, I think, max rated at uh, 10 amps, uh, but uh, continuous, it's rated at 8 amps. Okay, here's my uh, test setup for the uh, power supply. I have a couple of uh, multimeters here to verify my output and compare it to the digital uh, meter. And I'm going to use a piece of nichrome wire that I got out of a heater 
as the load. And I believe I measured it, um, this length I guess is less than 2 ohms. Okay, I powered on the power supply. The voltage coming out of the power supply is 19.02 volts. It's going into the buck converter and it's giving me an output of 1.86 volts at 1.06 amps. Now uh, one thing I did was I turned off the lighting here to uh, so the uh, LED meter here will not flicker. Let me see what I get on my multimeters. The voltage I have on the multimeters is 1.84 volts and 1.04 amps. So the meters are verifying that the digital meter that I have here is in the ballpark and it's functioning correctly increasing the voltage. Okay, it's at uh, 3.5 volts, 2 amps. Now the power supply um, can output uh, over 6 amps. So I have about 5 volts at the output of the buck converter and it's giving me 2.89 uh, amps. So my uh, load, which is this nichrome wire here, it's probably, um, I don't know, the uh, guesstimate is maybe 1.5 ohms around there. Let's see how high I can get this, uh, get the current. Okay, it's at 4 amps, 4.21. Since the uh, load is has such a low resistance value, the uh, amperage is really going to crank up quickly. Okay, now I'm at uh, 5 amps, 5.03 amps. Okay, it's at 6 amps, 10 volts. It's probably hitting the uh, maximum range of the power supply. Now if you look at the load, it's getting red hot here. Okay, I'll bring down the uh, current. Now from what you see here, you can uh, build a power supply with just a few components and get some uh, high current. So we'll leave it at 1.5 volts at 0.95 amps. So this is an easy way to build a variable power supply using a standard power supply with a fixed voltage output, a buck converter to vary the output using a multi-turn potentiometer. This is optional but recommended and I'm sure everyone would want one. So this is my simple inexpensive high current power supply. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe. Have a great day.